Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Today, Wendy's kicking off your week with a super-sized dose of the hottest topics. Plus, HuffPost Live's Caitlin Becker is here with the inside scoop on feuding sisters Kendall and Kylie Jenner. And just in time for Mother's Day, Nicole Lavin has incredible trendy and Wendy discounts on the perfect gift for mom. Plus, who will Wendy be calling at home today with a chance to win big money? Find out as our spring cha-ching giveaway keeps on spinning. Now, here's Wendy! Thank you for watching! My co-host, my studio audience! Came to encourage this mess. <laughs> Happy Monday. How are you doing? Well rested. Let's get started. It's time for hot topics. weekend. I sure did. I was busy running around town and running around the country. Um, <laughs> I was in Atlanta yesterday at the uh, Ultimate Women's Expo. Shout out to the thousands of women who were there. Thank you for your time. And uh, you inspire me as well. Thank you very much, Freddie O, for taking this picture, too. Uh, next weekend, my uh, country tour continues. <laughs> I'll be doing my sit-down tour in uh, Atlantic City at the Brigada. So that's joke night. Yeah, Saturday night. Saturday night. Ew. Um, you know, I was not shocked to hear about Tiger Woods and Lindsey Vaughn's relationship being over. Oh. You know, it's uh, only because... I'm surprised it lasted this long <laughs> on account of Tiger's past. I mean, they've been together for, they had been together for three years. And during the entire three years, me and Hot Topics never heard a peep out of him, you know, stepping out on Lindsay. <laughs> and so, you know, they said that they, first of all, they announced it the way they announced when they became a couple, which is over Facebook, you know, even though that's not good for our business because we like to dig and bring you, you know. <laughs> We like to bring you the headlines ourselves, and now these celebrities, they can just announce stuff on Facebook and beat us to the punch, which is, you know, good for them. You know, Lindsay's only 30 years old, and Tiger's, like, 39, and neither one of their, um, you know, careers have been what they need to be. You know, him on account of, I don't know. Uh, and, and her, because she's been wounded. So now she's not wounded anymore, and she's ready to go back. She's one of those uh, downhill, cross-country, uphill skier people. <laughs> and so, you know, when I first heard that they split up, I, unlike a lot of the cynics that work around here, um, I didn't think it was him cheating. For some reason, I figured the relationship had just run its course. Well, it turns out neither one of us were right. Apparently, she is now going back into training because she's an Olympian, and when you're 30 years old, you don't give up your career from a man, partic <laughs> particularly, uh, uh, I mean, you know. I mean, particularly a boyfriend and, and somebody who you have no children with or anything like that. I mean, she's got her whole life ahead of her. Uh, and then him, I mean, it was amicable. And I honestly, and <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a cynic. I honestly believe that this breakup is amicable. No, I don't think that they're going to go on to be friends. You don't need to be friends with your ex. But I also don't think that he cheated or she cheated and they're going to say mean stuff about each other on social media. So, you know, good for him. Um, then I was asked this morning, um, 
is it, uh, do I think it'll be hard for him to move on and have a normal relationship with somebody else? I said, well, yes, he's had a normal relationship with Lindsay for the past three years, you know? Um, and, you know, what he did to Elin while they were married is almost to be expected when you are with an elite athlete or some sort of um, savant, you know, whether, you know, like, like, that's like if you or I went to college at 12 and Harvard and graduated at 15. <laughs> And graduated at 15, like, there are a lot of kids who do that, do that, you know, the education track. But I equate that also with being an elite athlete, like the Williams sisters or Tiger Woods. They've never had a normal life. While me and you were out getting it in at 15, whatever getting it in is. I don't mean having sex, but I just mean, you know, having a good time. Like, didn't our good time start around 13 years old and continue on? Uh... You know, wasn't our social life in college shameful? Yes. He didn't go to college. He didn't go to college. So he, he didn't get a chance to experience the things that we experienced at the appropriate age. Instead, he waited to marry E. Lynn and have a career and then get all those women. <laughs> so he kind of put the cart before the horse. But do I think it'll be difficult for him to move on and have a normal relationship with somebody? No. As a matter of fact, he might have dialed back and gone the total opposite way, like faithful, dutiful, will empty the dishwasher for you and rub your feet. You know, because he realized how bad he was to Elin and what his, rela and what his, what his relationship career has been like. Anyway, uh, that's it with this story. Good luck to all the parties involved. <laughs> so, you gotta love Madonna. <laughs> she, um, she decided to get online with her Madonna fans for about 20 minutes the other night, live from her bathroom with a bottle of wine. <laughs> it was the best. So you know how Madonna never apologizes for anything. We, we can tell her she's inappropriately acting like she's 22. She's embarrassing our age group. You know, she's, she's embarrassing to the kids. They don't even know who she is. Madonna never apologizes. It must have been the wine. Because remember that disgusting kiss that she gave Drake with full tongue and holding her head like a dominatrix? His head at the Coachella? Well, M Madonna was asked about that while she was in the bathroom drinking wine on the phone with her fans. No, I've got the footage. I figured you'd want to see it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Take a look. Patricia from Belfast, what advice would you give to your younger self knowing what you know now? <laughs> Don't kiss Drake no matter how many times he begs you to. Jamie from Philadelphia, you asked the million dollar question. Is Drake a good kisser? I kissed a girl and I liked it. <laughs> I don't believe she was referring to Drake's sexuality. I believe she was referring to Drake is not exactly the hardest rapper out there. You know what I mean? Which. There's nothing wrong with that. He's, like, one of those, like, sensitive guys, you know? Um, uh, Madonna looks so young and so beautiful there. And that bathroom, everything is, like, in her cream color skin and the blonde hair. It, it's just, like, beautiful. And the wine. <laughs> I wonder how often she does that. <laughs> I'm, surpri I'm surprised that she admitted this, though, because it makes her look real petty. And she's probably regretting it now because it's the morning, you know, when you wake up after, after partying in your bathroom. And you say, oh, what did I do last night? Let me check my cell phone and see who I text. Do you do that? Do you know how to do that? Like, oh, who did I text last night and what did I say? So she gets online, she sees that she said that. Now, Drake, here's the thing. You won. So you should just sh stay quiet and let this old lady look petty and, and, and just like, let her look petty.
And just so you know, I'm team no one. I'm just calling it the way I see it. Yeah. Um, so, look, uh, do you care about the new royal baby? Yeah. Okay. Well, then it's time for a celebrity shout-out. Hit it. Wow. So, um... <laughs> Prince William and, and Kate welcomed their second child, a baby girl, over the weekend. They haven't announced the name. Oh, wait. They Before I put my wig on this morning? Oh, this is why I love being live. Okay. All right. Well, they just announced the name. It's Charlotte Elizabeth Diana. And this is Kate after giving birth just 10 hours ago. And I was asked, excuse me, I was asked, um, would you walk out of the hospital 10 hours after giving birth? <laughs> well, well, maybe you didn't have um, ratchetness walking around your hospital. Okay, or if it's not your first one, if you didn't suffer a bunch of miscarriages, because we had so many losses before we actually had little, I was ready to go 10 minutes after giving birth. Because, you know, they, they wheel the boys in the other room to circumcise them and everything, and you're all, your guts are still hanging out down here. <laughs> Look, I, I picked up my guts, put them under my arm, and pulled myself. I was so thankful. You know, I, like, pulled myself on my belly to the circumcision room, pulled up, and looked in the glass. Because I gave birth at 9.40 on a Saturday night. So by the time they take him into the circumcision room, it might have been like 11 o'clock and it's dark. And so, you know, then you have the night nurses. Now, shout out to the nursing station. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the night nurses. But hospitals have a different vibe at night. And if you watch enough ID channel, it's not exactly the vibe you want. Like, oh! I kept thinking was one of these nurses is disguised, you know, is really the killer and is going to come in. No, I was. And I was like, she's going to come in and steal my little Lord Fauntleroy. Or, you know, they switch the babies. And next thing you know, I go home with a different baby than I gave birth to. And, you know, my husband was there in the hospital, but it's funny how the men are more exhausted than us because they got to look down there and see all that. So I'm in the mother's suite. He's over there in the chaise lounge sleeping with his mouth open. This is, this is after him getting together or, you know, being on the phone with all his boys, like, oh, it's a boy oh, It's a boy oh, Right? He's over there exhausted. My mom and dad had left at this particular point and gone back home. All the lights are dim, you know, in the, in the room. I wouldn't even let... I watched him get circumcised, and I watched that I'm crawling on my belly because I I'm, can't move. You know, we're weak. The nurse brings him back in the room and puts him in the bassinet, you know, with the wheels so you can wheel it close to you. But that wasn't close enough to me. I slept, no lie, all night with the boy swathed in that striped delivery blanket in my arms. I, 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 like, I woke up in the morning. I had cramps. I had cramps. And all I can remember is snoring, <laughs> dim lights, watching feet pass under the door. <laughs> And B. Smith's cooking show was on TV. Yeah, so that was my... But if, if I could have left 10 hours afterwards, I definitely would have, because to me, the killer lurks. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, Kate. Sierra's ex-future is lashing out at her. It's all over this Russell Wilson thing, you know, that football player. Um with the <laughs> with the nose anyway um remember sierra went to the white house with the football player um russell wilson and future tweeted i wish i cared but to me by just tweeting i wish i cared means you might have cared just a little bit yeah yeah Just the acknowledgement means you cared a little bit on one hand. On the other hand, he probably didn't care as much as we might think that he cares because after you've been with a girl for a particular period of time, you, you kind of know that he or she has a type. 
You know what I mean? Like, like Sierra seems to like a guy that's a little bit edgier, just based on him and some of the fellas that she's dated in the past, somebody a little edgier. Um, this Russell, again, an elite athlete, you know, probably hasn't had a lot of exposure to a lot of stuff that, you know, might interest Sierra equality in other guys. Sierra's with him, in my opinion, because it's a good look, well, like we talked about. It's a good look for, for Russell, and it's a good look for Sierra, for them to be out together. I don't believe that this is a real relationship. So Future um, ended up uh, stop, stopping following Sierra on social media. And has started following her enemy, Rihanna. Oh. Which means that Future does care. Yeah. <laughs> you <do care. laughs> um, and that's childish. And you all have a child together. Um, Sierra's new album comes out today. Good luck, Sierra. That's all. Good luck, Sierra. So now look. Attention all my co-hosts here in the Wendy studio audience. Right after the show, you must scatter and go back home. I, I, look, I know you were planning on going out to lunch. I know many of you all wanted to go to Herald Square to go shopping. Today is not the day. Be <laughs> because number one, the president is in town clogging up everything, okay? And number two, the Met Gala is tonight. All the more reason they just go back to Jersey. Yeah. Look. <laughs> Listen, you know what the Met Gala is by now. It's one of the biggest fashion events in the world of the season. Um, all the big celebrities will be there, but there's one thing that'll be missing. Hallelujah. <laughs> Selfies. Oh. See? You all have gotten obsessed with these selfies, and they're very, very annoying. Like, no, nobody can, you know, have fun anymore without fear that somebody's going to take a picture. So um, I have a feeling that Anna Wintour is talking to a particular uh, group of celebrities, like anybody whose last name begins with K. <laughs> right? Or J. The Jenner Kardashians, they love a good selfie. Or, surprisingly, the fashion designer, Cynthia Rowley. Oh. Rowley. Now, she's a sophisticated woman, a woman who's been around, a woman who does not need to stoop to the level of sneaking. But remember, last year, she snuck her device into the Met Gala after they were, they were specifically told not to, and she started filming on the down low. Oh. I know! So you never know where the sneakation's gonna come from. Just when you think it's going to come from, like, one of the Jenner girls. It can come from a sophisticated woman of the world. But I like it when they say, you know, no selfies, no cell phones, because that means you can really turn up and get loose. Uh, by the way, everybody, we're celebrating an anniversary today. It's the one-year anniversary of Solange's elevator attack on Jay-Z! <laughs> Remember, that happened after the Met Gala. So we'll see what jumps off this year. And we'll be here tomorrow to report. I found something new for you to play with. And it doesn't cost you anything. And you don't have to sign up for membership. Now, what I ask you to do is don't do this next to sharp objects or a cliff. Just in case you don't like the answer that you get. <laughs> There's this new website. It's called How Old. Have you heard about it? Okay, it tells you how old it thinks you are. Well, sometimes it's accurate and sometimes it's wrong. They used it on Al Roker over at, um, at the Al Roker the other day. And you know, Al... I, I don't know how old Al is. All I know is that they took... How old? He's 60 years old, and they told him he looked 84. Oh. Al? Oh. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so now look, 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 look. I'm telling you, you're gonna obsess over this, but don't do it during the show, okay? <laughs> Lindsay Lowen is 28. The website told her she looks 42. Oh! And what they take into account are fine lines and wrinkles, bags under your eyes, and maybe some facial hair and stuff. Madonna is 56. They told her she looks 37. Oh! Right? This is a really dangerous site. Like, I wish it had a membership because anything that asks for a membership, I never sign up for. And if it's an app, like, I don't have any apps on my phone. I don't, I don't deal with that, you know? But the idea that this is free and you could just go to it without an app or an application. Hmm. <laughs> Kylie Jenner is 17 and it says she looks 30. Oh. <laughs> I'm 50 and it says I look 29. <laughs> Something fun to play with, though, okay? So remember, it's called HowOld.net. Hey, clap it up for more great show. Yeah! Just in time for Mother's Day, we've got an all-new trendy at Wendy where you can get spring hottest products at unbelievable discounts. Plus, another Wendy watch is going to try to win up to $5,000 playing spring touching. But up next, we've got the inside scoop on the feuding sisters, Kylie and Kendall Jenner. Don't go far. Uh, on an all-new Wendy, Magic's glamorous son, E.J. Johnson. He's lost a bunch of weight, but he hasn't lost his fears. <laughs> and Cinco de Mayo meals. Latin food is my favorite food group. <laughs> Tomorrow on an all-new Wendy. Group joining us with some juicy stories from HuffPost Live. Welcome to our friend, Caitlin Becker. Yay! Nice to see you again. Good to see you. All right, so Kendall and Kylie Jenner are feuding? Family feud in the Jenner household. Uh huh. Yeah, Kendall and Kylie, things, they're not as close as they used to be. They were, you know, they were always quite the duo, but things are not good. Sources are saying that Kylie is upset that. Kendall is kind of a little big for her britches these days. You know, she's so successful Kendall's in the Kendall's the one world. in the white dress. Yes. Those, yeah. She's very, very big in the modeling world. She works really hard. She's making a ton of money. And sources are saying that Kylie is, I don't know if it's a little jealous or she's basically saying that it's really changed Kendall. And then on the flip side, Kendall's not very happy with the image of who Kylie is. Bear in mind, this Kendall is 19. Kylie is 17 years old. You're looking at a 17-year-old right. right here. And Kendall's not happy. A 17-year-old who looks like she's gotten, um, uh, looks like button hands lip enhancements, jaw work done, and a whole bunch of other things. And, sources, and breasts. And sources are saying that Kendall called Kylie one of, said she looks like one of the real housewives of Beverly Hills. Well, you know, here's my thought. Um, it clearly looks like the younger one in the lace, Kylie, has gotten some stuff done. I think it's money well spent. Um, the idea that, um, that, that, uh, that they say she looks 30 years old, she'll regret that. I would also be upset if I was Kendall, because Kendall's a natural beauty and was always the more attractive of the two of them, let's face facts. And now all of a sudden, Kylie, to me, is equally as attractive in a different, kind, in a, a reality show ratchet kind of way. But... but it's not all about looks. This, and it's not all about just feuding. It's getting into their business relationship. Yes, yes. This is not your typical sibling rivalry. Well, Mind you, they make a lot of money. And the other one, the, the, uh, the, the formerly challenged one, is now on magazine covers, just like the model. <laughs> She's now on that. What do you even say? She's say saying that. she's a beautiful, but she's a beautiful girl. But she did have a little. Looks like she's been done to be that beautiful. Well, they're and slated to open a. They're they're scheduled to do um, a fashion brand together a couple months ago. I think you you, know, you brought it up that Kendall had trademarked her name just Kendall. And recently, Kylie trademarked her name for merchandising. They're supposed to be opening up some sort of fashion line together. Of course, they've been working together as a little duo forever with magazines and books and this and that. So they want to be like the Olsen twins or something? Kind of like the Olsen twins, but apparently they've been, there were rumors that they got into some teenage sisterly fighting, some arguments be in business meetings. Because they imagine? both have two different styles. One is more classy and one is more... Edgy. Yeah. <laughs> She's a little edgier, but... Well, they could make it work if they wanted to. I mean, they could have a broad, um, you know, clothing line. 
They could also maybe make it work even if they did separate things. I think that Kylie does have a viable career. Unfortunately, um, Ke um, Kendall, your sister does have a viable career on magazine covers and influencing young girls. Kendall has the career. Kylie is the... Yeah, Ki yeah. Ki Kylie has a career doing that too, though. Yes, Kylie. Has I didn't say walking a runway, right. but certainly influencing young girls, being on the cover of Teen Vogue and, and whatnot. What did you do at 17? I didn't do that. I mean, I wasn't getting surgery and running around with a single 25 year old father of one. Right. But then again, I didn't have a selfish father and a selfish mother who were so into themselves that they were letting me run the streets in my own ma mansion. So. You know, I was 17, I was 17. I, I don't know what to say. Let's talk about Hillary Duff. Hillary Duff, I feel like we were sort of duped. Last week, you, were, you, you, you brought it up. You said that Hillary Duff on Tinder, Tinder dating, it was kind of a publicity stunt. No, my husband guessed it. He actually thought that she was um, the new spokesperson for Tinder. But he knew something was fishy. So apparently she's filming these Tinder dates. She's got nine lined up, and she brought a camera crew to her first one as part of a reality show. Ta-da. Uh, big surprise. I, I just, I don't know how we didn't hear, expect this. I'm surprised. And you know what I feel duped about? I feel duped because I thought Hillary Duff was a different kind of girl. And since this divorce, it's like she's lost her mind. And, like, I didn't think that she was a green-haired girl. And I didn't think that she was a reality show kind of girl. And I just, uh, like, who is the real Hillary Duff? Her new show, on Younger, on TV Land, did get picked up for a second season. Mm -hmm. But she is filming this. And they're going to, from what I understand, broaden out the idea of this show to, to be about sort of a divorcee. She's 27 years old, divorcee, getting back into the dating world. I'd like to watch. I like the Duffs. I, I would give that a whirl. I, I mean, I would. I'm just, I'm just shocked. But I would. So now, Selena Gomez has gained a few pounds, and so her fans are complaining. She gained, like, five pounds. I, I mean, really. People are so... So tell the story. So there were photos of Selena Gomez here in this pink bikini that the paparazzi took. <laughs> also, who hasn't come out of the ocean with your top a little askew? Come on. Listen, you know what? To me, that says confidence. You know, she, and she's she, been owning it. She yes. says, I gained five pounds. I couldn't be happier. These pictures came up. She got a lot of flack for that. So she posted another photo of herself looking amazing in this beautiful black bathing suit. And some hater, some Oh, troll. you know the pose, girls. You there arch your back and stretch out. Right? Make it and, work. And some, somebody commented and said that she, the, the person said, you need to work out. Shut you up. need to stop eating junk food. And that you're an actress and you have an image to uphold and, you know, you're in the industry. And she read it and responded. She fired back. Here's what she wrote. She said, you're disgusting. I could care less about what they or you say I should look like. I don't need to do anything other than love myself. It's not your place to tell anyone what they should or should not do. Tough on Selena Gomez. Good one. More young girls need to hear that. Well, thank you, Caitlin. Always nice to see you. And Always your, a pleasure. And your beautiful hair. Thank you. <laughs> For more juicy stories like these, go to HuffPost Live. Hot Topic Sound Off is next. Topic sound off. How you doing? How you doing? My name is Tamala, and I'm here to sound off about future. Okay. Look, the bottom line is future is still hot and head over heels in love with Sierra. What's not to be in love with? Have you seen her lately? She's beautiful. Uh -huh. She's brilliant. Uh -huh. And I mean, she is rocking that body uh -huh. after just having a baby. Can you believe that? Uh -huh. In any event, in any event. I heard what you said earlier, Wendy, about you don't think it's a real relationship, but... She and Russell. Yes. Yeah. But I, I have to kind of disagree. I mean, it is a good look for both of them. Uh -huh. Let's face it. Russell Wilson led the 2014 Super Bowl champion. Yes, yes, yes. So he's a hottie. Yes. With a body. Uh -huh. And probably he's got some serious moves. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. So what I think Sierra should do is she should see her future with... Russell Wilson. Okay. Because they make a super cup. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Good. I'm Christine. I'm here to sound off on Kylie and Kendall. Okay. First of all, I think regardless if you're a celebrity or not, mm -hmm. sister relationships are just complicated. Yes. I think they have way bigger issues to worry about right now. They're going through a huge transition with their family, and they're going to eventually be there with each other because it's family, period. Right. And I like what you said about they don't have to be in business together. Right. How about just being sisters? They can do their own thing. Yep. They have two completely different styles, and they should just 
Embrace them and go with it and stay family. And I think that Kylie has a viable career I doing do something similar to her sister, Kendall. Definitely. Yeah, completely. Well, thank you for your comments. Thanks, All right, we have time for another one. Are you next? <laughs> How you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Mary. How you doing? I hope I'm doing well, Mayor. I am here to sound off about the Met Gala. I'm sorry, Wendy. I have to disagree with you. This is the age of the selfies, <laughs> and they should not, they should get over themselves and let, allow people to take selfies with their own cameras. I mean... They are over themselves, which is why they don't want to see more images of but themselves. But I'm saying, Wendy, <laughs> but Wendy, I mean, even Ellen went viral at the Oscars, so? and what they need to be worrying about is Jay-Z and Zalange and make sure they don't have nothing popping off in the elevator. Okay? Uh, okay. Thank you. We have time for another quick one. You are just all confused, aren't you? <laughs> How you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Anne. How you doing? Hi, Anne. I'm here to sound off on Hillary Duff. Okay. I don't see a problem with celebrities on Tinder. I met my husband on internet dating, so yes. I don't see it as a big deal. No, I don't mind them on Tinder. I, I just feel duped because we knew nothing about the reality show. Well, I feel that she's reinventing herself yes. so i have to disagree with you with yes. that she's losing her mind she's just trying to something new she just went through a divorce in february yeah. so there are people doing much worse than her so it's really there certainly are would you watch a reality show i don't watch reality shows oh <laughs> i don't mind but i don't watch aren't reality we highbrow <laughs> no <laughs> no i'm playing with you look up next everybody we've got some unbelievable discounts on some hot spring products for gifts for mom trendy at wendy is next <laughs> From his new reality show to his son, Robin, we're clearing up all the blurred lines. And there's still time to enter our spring cha-ching giveaway. Turn a May Day into a payday. Wednesday on an all-new Wendy. Bring the cha-ching in spring. April 23rd through May 20th. I'm calling lucky Wendy watchers every day with a question about our show. And then it's a spin to see how much they can win. Watching Wendy could pay off big. Get details on how you can enter for your chance to play on my Facebook page now. Welcome back. It's time for Trendy at Wendy, where we show you how to get huge discounts on some of the hottest products just in time for Mother's Day. Everything that you see is going to be available for a limited time at wendyshow.com. Please welcome the financial fashionista, our friend, Nicole Lappin. Nicole! magazines on my way to Atlanta and I run across a picture of Rumor Willis sitting by the pool with your book, oh, Rich God. Bitch. Thank you. Yes. Book is doing well. Thank okay, you. Okay, so what do you have for us today? All right, we know we give mama some wrinkles, right? Let's be exactly. that. Yes. <laughs> so let's help her out and fix some of those wrinkles with this fantastic perfect skin trio by Strivectin. One of the best names in skincare. Totally. And this is a three-piece set of intensive concentrates. You have one that's for the face. That one's actually for the lips. The lip tint. So it's a lip tint, and it's actually a really good color, and it protects your lips at the same time. Yeah, SPF 20. And an eye concentrate. The concentrate actually transforms your skin in 15 days. So it depops, it sucks it on out. Everything we did to mama is going to be fixed up. Now, the good stuff is pretty expensive. What does this normally run for? Normally runs for $99. But a little goes a long way, and, and we're not does. paying that. And you have to invest in your skin. No way. 61% off, just 39 bucks. Yeah. Done. It comes in a good little Done. gift set for right. mom. Done for Mother's Day. Okay. <laughs> Who still has a radio in the shower? Let's be serious. Yes. That, don't be shy. That's okay. <laughs> This is, no, all I'm thinking is I don't want to play music in the shower because I want to hear if the killer is coming. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. All right, so this one's like, Splash Shower Tunes Portable Speaker by Freshy Tech. This is for a great techie mom who is not scared of the killer. Uh, okay. <laughs> you I can see. put it in there. Suction it, it's cup. waterproof suction cup. Please. Hey, that's my song. Yeah, I made song. Wow. So you can put it in the shower, you can put it in the bath, you could That's a lot of that's a lot of volume. Party. Totally. And it actually connects to your phone too, so you can take phone calls as well. It's Bluetooth. 
Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, so Comes how much in a bunch of different colors. Retails for 50 bucks, but just for Wendy Watchers, we have 50% off, so 25 bucks. Worth it. That's worth really it. Really unique present for Mother's Day. Now, you know we love hair products and hair care products here, so what's this all yeah, about? Yeah, this is for the Diva Mom. This is my favorite styling tool. It's a hot brush and straightener in one. How hot does it get? Yes. It gets super hot and it actually makes your hair silky and doesn't damage it. You have to invest in some good hair yes. products. So it curls, it volumizes, it straightens, it does the whole shebang, it does everything but massage your feet. This is great. <laughs> Th yes. This is real now, now, how much is this? It retails for 250 bucks, so you know it's good stuff. Oh. But it's 76% off just for Trendy at Wendy, so $59. That's worth it. This is good. And it's lightweight. Yes, it is lightweight. Okay, we love jewelry. This is the ultimate I love you, mama present. Tanzanite Purple. and diamond mm. jewelry by Poor Samo Blue. Mm. Tanzanite is extremely rare. rare. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, from the hills of North Tanzania, and there are only a few mines left in the world. So, this is a very special present for Get it mom. while it's available. That's right. Apparently. You can choose between the Tanzanite and diamond and silver bracelet, okay. or the Tanzanite and silver earrings or the tanzanite pendant with a silver chain. These are really pretty. All right, so what's everything cost? They retail for up to $1,200. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> April 15th just passed. Tell us what we're paying. <laughs> up to 80% off as low as 59 bucks. Perfect. Okay, this stuff is great for Mother's Day or the grad in your life. Nicole Lappin, clap it up for her. These amazing deals are only for Wendy Watchers, and they're there for a limited time, so you got to go to wendyshow.com before they sell out. Ask Wendy is next. There's so much more of The Wendy Show at wendyshow.com. Watch must-see moments, catch my after show, and enter for your chance to win some amazing free stuff. Check out wendyshow.com today. Hi, Wendy. My name is Teddy. How you doing? Hi, Teddy. I have a question for you. Uh, four years ago, I slept with my neighbor, and he has his girlfriend living with him now. Okay. We became friends, and I'm just trying to figure out if I should tell her that we've slept with each other. I don't have any feelings for him, or should I just let it be a secret? Just let it be awkward. a secret. Yeah. Okay. Is it a detached house or an apartment? It's an apartment right next door right to each next, other. Right, like, literally right next yes. door. Yes. Um, I wouldn't tell her. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, you don't... Uh, is, is she going to watch the show? <laughs> Good, I hope not. Good, good luck, Teddy. Thank you. You're very welcome. <clears throat> How are you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Natalie. How are you doing? Hi, Nat. How can I help? My husband just turned 40. Uh-huh. And he just started wearing corn rolls in his hair. <laughs> <laughs> Even now, Carmelo Anthony has cut off his corn rolls, really? And now he goes to the salon, gets it done every two weeks. Alan Iverson doesn't even wear corn rolls anymore. And I can't stand them. Corn rolls are not, um... <laughs> Yeah. They're, like for men, the way they used to be. Basically. He looks like an old man trying to hold on to his Oh! Seat. You know what? I love him, though. Humor him. Yeah. Humor him. All right. Because if he tried to tell you about your looks, you wouldn't want yeah, to hear it have either. To hurt him. Yeah. yeah. So humor him. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, man. poor thing. <laughs> Nothing like a good midlife crisis to stir the pot. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Lanita. How you doing? I'm hot. Lanita? Lanita, yeah. How, how, how you doing? <laughs> I have a friend of 10 years who we recently fell out. And my husband, during the time my husband and her boyfriend became really close, they hang out, talk, everything. I don't like it. How should I break up this romance? <laughs> Here's the thing. Like, it's been about my experience that when men get together, they gossip, but they don't gossip about their wives. Right, okay. You know right, what I'm yeah. saying? So, uh, yeah, I mean, I would love for this to be broken up. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you break up with the girl? Because she has an attitude and we felt out oh, passwords. It's bad. Does, he, does the boyfriend, ex-boyfriend come to your house? Yeah, my husband wants them, to, he want to invite them over. No, 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 well, your husband has to see him out. At the bar, yeah, right, or yeah. something. Okay. Not, not in your house. There okay. have to be new rules. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Very well. Talk to them. Good luck. Good luck. Let's time for another one. How you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Shelly. How you doing? Hi, Kelly. Shelly. Shelly. Yes. Thank you. Um, 
My ex-fiance and I broke up about eight years ago, but recently he reached out to me and he said that he wanted to have children with me. Now, I'm, 39, I'm 40 and he's 39. I've explored other options, but he's the cheapest. What should I do? Oh, well, no, I'm all about a bargain. Me too. Um, <clears throat> what do you think? I would say drop, <clears throat> drop a contract. Okay. And have it go to the lawyer's office. Okay. But think long and hard about it. I don't think that this is a horrible idea. No. I mean, he's your ex for a reason, but he came back around because he wants kids. You specifically want to have kids with them. I think that this could work. You think so? And it's, and it's a cheaper way to do it. Then, <laughs> and, but get a lawyer, both okay. of you, and draw up some papers. Don't be like Sophia and Joe and some of these other people <laughs> out here, okay? Okay. Thank okay. you, Wendy. And, and Sherry and Lamar. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank up you. Up next, everybody, it's time for Spring to Ching. Don't go far. Cha-ching. I've been having so much fun playing this game. This is where one lucky viewer could win up to $5,000 on our big wheel. So let's get our contestant on the line. Hello? Oh. Uh oh. Hello? Angelica Garcia from Miami, Florida. How you doing? Yes. It's, How you doing? <laughs> it's Wendy. Oh Hi. Hi, Angelica. Listen, you're today's Spring Cha-ching contestant. Have you been watching our show every day? Every single day. Uh-huh. We'll be the judge. It's time to find out how much you're playing for. Suzanne's going to spin the wheel. Spin it, Suzanne. For $1,000, you're playing, okay? Sure. All right, now look, you have to listen closely because you're only going to have 15 seconds to guess the correct answer, and you're only going to have one shot to guess, okay? Sure. <laughs> All right, Angelica. On Friday's show, I was wearing a beautiful dress from Burlington. How much did I tell you it costs? And go! It costs uh, 60%. How much? What? Sorry, the answer was twenty-four ninety-nine. Oh. But don't worry, because we're sending you a twenty-five-dollar cash gift card. Thank you for playing, Angelica Garcia of Miami. And uh, if you want a chance to win up to five thousand dollars, go to my Facebook page and enter. And keep watching every day, because we just might call you. We'll be right back. And my co-host, my studio audience tomorrow, the fabulous one and only E.J. Johnson from hashtag Rich Kids of Beverly Hills stops by. Plus, celebrity chef Ingrid Hoffman is here to show us how to make some delicious Cinco de Mayo meals. Um, another Wendy Watcher is going to get a chance at the $5,000 when we sp uh, play Spring to Ching. I'm going to take a nap. I'm going back to Jersey. I love you for watching. I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye.